Muscle cars, sports cars, other hot rods showed out for a car show at the funeral of upstate car icon Rob Rabbit Pitts. People say it's just one way to celebrate a man who touched the lives of many. R.A. Arena reports from Rock Springs Baptist Church in Eastley. Hundreds of car enthusiasts from all over the country gathered here in Easley to remember the life of Rob Rabbit Pitts. This is the exact shirt he was wearing when I first met him. Jeff Trahan remembering the life of one of his closest friends. For years, he worked alongside Rabbit, filming his various adventures for his YouTube channel. As he would always talk about all these small things with cars, and I wanted to understand you know, what he was talking about. And so anytime we would go out to lunch or go eat, um, he would be pointing out cars in the parking lot. The 45-year-old died Sunday after battling stage four stomach cancer. The Greenville native owned Rabbit's used cars in Seneca. I've been feeling awful, man, and sad, extremely sad. Cast members from the Netflix show Tex-Mex Motors traveled too easily to pay tribute to their friend. I never met anybody like him, and he was very proud of where he, where, where, where he was from. He spoke highly of, of, of the city, of, of Greenville. Local supporters like Brian Dennis also brought their cars to remember Rabbit. He was just a guy, you got it. He, he, he was like the rest of us, that he, uh, you know, this was really a big part of his life and something that gave him great joy. As Rabbit was escorted to his final resting place, people are looking back at the impact he made on the upstate's car culture. Rob actually gave me his shoes, and I think about them when I wear them, like, I might be literally filling them, but there's no way I could absolutely fill them. Pitts' yellow Corvette, a cardboard cutout of him, and a chair that bears his name are also here to remember a man who people say was larger than life. He is survived by his wife and family. Reporting in Easley, Ray Urena, WYFF News 4.